Hi again, this is the eighth chapter of our tutorial to build um, to build the Miss van der Rohe pavilion in Barcelona in FreeCAD. And now we have already all the upper stuff done and we are going to model these floor tiles. And I'm gonna start with a rectangle. That's it. We don't want its face because we won't use this rectangle immediately. Uh, I'm changing its width and to make it a little bit more visible. And I am going to use where is it? This 2D offset tool, which is actually a parametric offset tool. It creates a copy of our wall. Our, of our object. It only works with uh, 2D objects. In the part workbench there is a 3D version of it as well that we should add to the BIM workbench as well. And so I turned off the original rectangle and now we have this smaller rectangle which is parametric. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, bound to the uh, original rectangle and we are going to extrude this a little bit to make one floor tile and you see that it went up, the extrusion went up and you can change that by forcing the normal direction to be downwards by putting the z-axis uh, down and 20, no it's too much, it's probably half of this 10, yes, that's correct so we have one roof tile that we're going to duplicate any number of times. One important thing, this set this to false. This means that this object will move with together with any object um, that contains it. And we are going to build quite a lot of objects on top of this one. And we are going to move them. So we don't want the base to move together, otherwise everything will get in any possible way. So I have cloned this, and may, uh, the clone is just a copy that shares the same shape as the original one. And now I am going to do an array of these, to do one line. And the array can work in three directions, and so we are only using the x direction here. You see number x, I gave it 20, and the other is only one. And then you give it an X interval, which is an X displacement direction uh, in this case. Uh, so it's not necessary X, Y and Z direction. You can make these arrays go in three direction you choose. Uh, in this case, I'm using only one direction. Uh, so um, here I'm doing a trick, which is copy and paste. By doing this, I did a copy, an exact copy of my array, uh, but I choose not to copy the the dependent object too. This means that uh, my copy, uh, my copied array, is using the same base block as my first one. So now I have two arrays, both using the same first tile. And this is cool because I'm going going to make many of those all based on the same tile. So if I modify the, my base tile, here you see that I'm using two directions for this array. And so only with a couple of arrays here, I will be able to fill the whole floor. So same thing, I'm pasting the one I've copied originally several times and just moving the copies um, to their um, their locations. And um, you see that you have quite a lot of ways in FreeCAD to duplicate objects. And since everything is parametric, it really depends on what you tend to do. Uh, you do all those ways to copy things 
um, have different uh, behaviors. Uh, for example, this one uh, is simple clone. I'm cloning it again now. Um, and it's a clone of the base tile, which is just a copy of, of the base tile, uh, actually, that you can move around. If you change the, the base of the clone, the clone changes as well. Um, so in some cases you want to clone something, in other cases you want to, to array things, and um, both the, the clone and the array uh, have a base object which they, they duplicate. And um, it depends, like if you have, you can have a clone and an array duplicating the same base object. This is exactly what we have here. Uh, but you could also have like two different clones, each one duplicating a different object. And so they would be like independent. And it, you could also, uh, for each of these arrays, have a different base object. Like you could, if I had uh, copied my original array together with its uh, base object, uh, when I paste it, it would paste also a copy of the base object. And so I would have completely diff completely independent arrays. It really depends on what you're trying to achieve. In this case, I will have one base tile for my entire floor, which is really, I think, what we what we need here. In case we want to change it, for example, you see that I well the reason I did this uh, offset at the beginning is so we create a small joint between the tiles, which I found would be more interesting. You see now it's just a matter of duplicating this array and changing for each copy you change the um, the numbers of, of copies. And you see these arrays are all independent copies. Uh, each of them is, is independent of the other. Um, but they all, if you uh, expand them in the tree view, you will see that they all have the same base object inside. Um, they're all based on the same object. Um, and it's something that doesn't behave simply like other uh, applications. Um, because you don't have so clear, uh, it's not so easy in FreeCAD to say uh, what are you exactly copying, uh, because it's not so easy to, to define what is copying, actually. And so we have these several ways to, to duplicate it, to keep things. Um, you see, this is our base element. And all these arrays all contain this same floor tile. Some of them are arrays, some of them are clones when it's just one. There was no need to make an array for one element. And we take the opportunity to already name things correctly. And that's it. Let's turn everything on to see the results. Beautiful. Save and that's it for this video.